Hi folks, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is one more on the Benro Polaris system. And this time I want to talk to you about uh, something that they introduced a few days ago, actually on March 3rd. I was away, I was in uh, Myrtle Beach uh, at the uh, conference, uh, which was the CNPA conference, the Carolina Nature Photography Association. Uh, and that's uh, when this firmware update was released. The firmware update is version 6.0.0.35, and it adds a few features. Um, some of it is available now, and some of it potentially will be available down the road. But what I want to talk to you specifically about is just one feature, and that is the auto-leveling. Now, if you are familiar with Benro and their Kickstarter program, they have also launched a Kickstarter for their new tripod. It's an auto-leveling tripod called the Theta. Uh, but what they have done is they have introduced an auto-leveling capability uh, on the Benro Polaris. Unfortunately, the way it is, it only works if you have the Astro module. If you don't have the Astro module, uh, you don't have to watch this program anymore because you're not going to be able to uh, avail of the feature that is exclusively available only if you have the Astro module. So what they've done is very simply, irrespective of how the Benro Polaris is mounted on your tripod and what its level may be, uh, the base unit, the unit that you use for everything but Astro, uh, works to basically ascend to the highest point of the axis of rotation uh, based upon where and how you have actually got your tripod or your base unlevel. So it goes to the highest point. <clears throat> that point gives you a perfect horizontal alignment. So now you're horizontally uh, aligned uh, and you're at 180 degrees across, which is great. And the rest of the unit then works to align in the vertical. So your horizontal alignment is through rotation to the highest or to the apex of the, uh, the point that you are at based upon your rotation. And then the unit basically drops or rises to align itself vertically. So you have horizontal and vertical alignment. Now, why is it that you need the Astro module? <clears throat> well, because the alignment basically doesn't give you a level base to mount your camera on. The level base is really provided by the Astro module. So the Astro module then becomes the base that allows you to pan in a perfect horizontal motion. So that panning capability and the orientation of your camera as to where you want to basically end up photographing can only be achieved through a pan on the Astro module. So what features are available? You can do any type of still photography. Uh, you can do bracketed exposures. You can do uh, HDR, all of that, basically, non-motion related. So if the camera doesn't have to reorient itself, it's something that you can do without any problem. Basically, orient itself uh, or orient in a non-horizontal uh, axis. You can do any kind of uh, focus stacking, and of course, you can do video. So the problem that you end up with now is that you, if you want to do panoramics, if you want to do multi-row stitching and things of that sort, you have to remove the Astro module and actually set your uh, Benro Polaris 
as though you didn't have the astro module, so you level the astro polaris before you can start any of the other functions. So in a way, it's good for those of you who have the astro module. For those of you who do not, uh, you're a little out of luck. So let me show you how this feature uh, works. All right, so I have my camera uh, mounted on the Polaris uh, to the Astro module. And the Polaris is basically just on the tripod. I haven't leveled it. In fact, I have intentionally unleveled the riser uh, using the uh, the leveling bolt. So just to give you an idea, you can basically level this in any direction. What I'm going to do is just level it uh, or unlevel it to one point on the extreme. So you can see it's kind of tilted out in this way. Um, the, the one thing that I do want to caution you is if you are going to use a nodal rail, as I had explained in the video that I did on um, using the Astro uh, module and the Bendro Polaris before. Uh, I'll link to the video uh, up on top and what, uh, and also uh, in the description below. Uh, what is important is that you make sure that the rail or the nodal rail uh, does not extend and in any way kind of bind or obstruct against the uh, rotating knob uh, that you have on the Astro uh, module itself. Now, there is a way to remove this knob, but uh, I'm not going to go into that uh, on this video. Uh, we'll cover that on another episode. So the, the next thing you want to do is to get your app working. And once your app is working, you uh, turn the unit on. You let it come to its first level position. You do not have to use the double tap on the two joysticks uh, to level it any further. That's absolutely not needed. Uh, what it will do is it will orient itself once you press the um, the, the tab on uh, the app to auto level and the auto leveling will then go to the apex of the highest point and then do the vertical leveling. And Let me just show you. So open the app and once the app is open, uh, you will see that uh, the p app is searching for my uh, Polaris. I'll just tap on it. It'll connect, um, go to join. And once it's connected, um, I tap on that, and now I can see uh, the screen, um, basically the viewfind of my camera. So the camera is connected, and the Polaris app and the camera are communicating. Um, I've got to hit continue. And at this point, the first thing you want to do is to go into the three lines on the right-hand side, go to your overall settings, and go to the very bottom where it says automatic level. You do need to turn that on because if that's not uh, on, then you're not going to be able to do any auto leveling. The icon that you see which says auto on top with a line below and a fulcrum below that, that's the icon that we'll be using to do uh, all the auto leveling features. So once you've got that, just tap anywhere on the screen and you will return to the normal view. And now on the second row, the fifth icon is your auto level icon. That's the icon that you need to press and you will see an artificial horizon come up and it'll show you that uh, the Polaris is doing the leveling. And once it's complete, you'll get a check mark saying level is completed. So make sure that you are in one of the modes where auto leveling will work. So I have it right now in the uh, photo mode and I will press the auto level button. And as you can see, uh, the unit has started uh, going into its rotation to locate the apex and and that will 
then stop and then finally do the vertical leveling. Now, to position your camera to take your images, now you have to use your joystick to move the Astro Module's base, which is now your panning base. So in order to move the Astro Module base, I need to move the joystick in, in either direction I have this snagging here a little bit, so let's move that out of the way. And I can orient my camera to take whatever image I want to. And then all I need to do is to hit my shutter release and, and grab my image. So that's fundamentally what this feature allows you to do. So basically, uh, what you have is a unit that can do uh, a little bit of self-leveling. Uh, you do then need to reorient your camera to uh, point to whatever it is you want to photograph. And one of the features that uh, you, know, you may want to subscribe to if you want to get onto Kickstarter is to uh, look at the tripod, which they call the Theta. And once you, you know, decide you're going to get that, then of course this feature becomes redundant. Uh, the Theta will do the leveling, and with that leveling, you'll be able to use all the features of the Bendro Polaris. So you, you, you won't have any limitations as we do right now. Uh, in addition, if you don't have an Astro module and you want to use automated leveling, uh, Theta is the only way to go. Uh, you can of course use any kind of man manual leveling device. So with that, uh, I hope you've got some value out of this uh, episode. And if so, do please give me a thumbs up, uh, do subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Uh, with that, take care and uh, all the best.